What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video today. Bringing back the visor, the backwards visor. Um, it hasn't been gone for too long, but it's back. <laughs> today, we're going to be playing a couple games that are just phobia games, but they're like, they're like, I don't know. This first one is, I think, supposed to be a scary game. Kalem Pokey Phobia, which I think is just a fear of corn. I could double check. Yep, it's the fear of corn. I don't know why you'd be scared of corn. That seems like such a weird thing to be to be scared of like how often do you see corn maybe like corn fields that that could make sense but yeah this is a one person server so i don't know okay i don't know what the if there's like a goal or something but i'm gonna just be uh okay, like just be exploring okay i can sprint is that one okay bottom left is my stamina and it only recharges when i come to a complete standstill what is that? <laughs> Bro, I like every white character in a horror movie. What is that? Proceeds to walk towards it. I saw you, bro. Okay, so I... Maybe we're supposed to find, like, an exit? Oh, my goodness. Man, where is this dude at? I'm kind of, I honestly want him to be n nearby. I'm not gonna lie. So at least you could hear him. I like that. All right, let me get my stamina first. At least you could hear him, like, when he's stepping. Like, near you. Yo, let me my heart jump. For I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, but that said, it's not scary though. No, because we got the visor back. Okay, he's right there. He's about to pop out. What you got? Come here. I know you right there, bro. He caught me. Alright. Okay. That was that, y'all. That was... That was good for what it was. If I were to rate it... Scare, scare factor out of 10. 6? Maybe 7? I'm gonna have to look at... Look at the... You know, when I'm editing, I'll see whether or not I jumped. But usually when I'm scared, I don't scream or nothing. My heart... It's like my insides are just going crazy. That's what happens. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Next game... Next phobia game we got is glassopho glossophobia. Not glassophobia. What in the world? Which refers to a strong fear of public speaking. Which uh, I don't think I have. I have a strong fear of public speaking, but I dread it. If it's like a situation where I have to. I don't think I was ready for this. I was not ready for this. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I think if, if I'm like. It depends. If I'm in a group of people I know, um, whether it's family or friends, I'm cool. But if it's strangers, even like five of them, it could be nerve-wracking. But let's just let's just hop right in. Okay, type what what you want to say and try to please the crowd. Okay, they're looking happy. Everybody got some nice representation as well. Um, can I move? I cannot move. All right, what you want to hear? Uh, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> What? Uh, what you want to hear? Cry. What you want to hear first? Uh, I got a whole bunch of jokes on my sleeve. Like uh, here, here, here. Um, here. I got one right here. Um, I got one. I'm just thinking of it. Why did the chicken? Why did the chicken cross the road? Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Great reaction. That's what we see. This is a lively crowd. This is the type of crowd that we need more of. Um. I ain't, I ain't finished the joke yet either. But so why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> yeah. See, they love that one. They, okay, let, let's let's switch it up a little bit. We got we gotta change it up. Bro, I just typed a command to high chat, and it just. <laughs> I, I I don't want to see other people speak, but like other real people. But glad you liked it. You like slash help, so you guys like helping people. So what if what if I drop you with uh uh okay um uh let's just do some uh some uh some uh some classics you know um like what rhymes with orange <laughs> not none of them knew. <laughs> Oh yeah, welcome back, welcome back. It's my second time at the stage. Please be nice, please be kind. Um, 
Let's see, what else I got? What else I got? I said, what else? Because I was just, you know, talking to the people uh, backstage. And, you know, they were saying, they, you know, they were they were so funny. I, met, I, I, said, I said to Todd, Todd was back there. He's our manager. I said, I said, I said, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm like, yeah, okay. Warm up, warm up. And then he's like, huh, that's funny, right? Just like y'all. And ne next thing I said, I followed it up. It's a two piece. I said, I said, I said, um, it's, it's peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. So I feel the same way, honestly. So. I, I, then I was thinking. Then I was thinking, right, y'all? But why are we working? These 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 nine to five jobs really aren't suiting my type of lifestyle. I want to live on a private island with private jets and be a happy man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad I'm glad you all agree. I'm glad you all agree. Now I think when people talk about nine to five jobs, they they fail to understand the the, the drawbacks of it. You know, they always, they always think, oh yeah, I can get money, but they never understand. Not, like I said before, nine to five jobs, they aren't good. And you know how I know that? Because I actually used to work at a nine to five job. Yes, you heard me right. With passive income. <laughs> yeah. What? With my dubious amount of doubloons, what does that even mean? <clears throat> With the amount of passive income that I have, I don't even need to work a nine to five anymore. I can work a me to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, that one was free. That one was free, y'all, that one was free. Oh, they <laughs> they wanted to pay for it. <laughs> hey, welcome back, y'all, this, this is my junior run. Junior? Hey, nice to see y'all, it's my third time on the stage. Now, now I, I was thinking, I was thinking, you know, people always have animals, right? Like animals are just some people have, you know, um, because people like having them. That's cool, boy. You know nothing about that. What I say? But really, if you think about it, isn't it weird? We kind of just took animals and took them from the wild and then domesticated them, and now they live lavish lives. Why did you laugh? But really, when we think about house cats. We don't think of lions, do we? That was a yes, no, okay, so I, I, I'll, take that as a, I'll take that as a no, okay, we don't think of not lions, okay, so you think of how, you just think of house cats when you think of house cats, right? You think of tabbies, uh, uh, um, the other one, right? Yeah, but I think the, cr the greatest cat I've ever seen is the cat in the hat. You guys agree? Uh, how about uh, Pink Panther? Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Are Panthers even cats? No, I, t I told my my coworkers the other day. Guess what I told them? I told them, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Gets them every time. So and then I followed it up with uh, this this one crazy thing. It was a card trick actually. So what I did, I took out a deck of cards and I said, hey, pick a card, any card. That's what I said. And then I followed it up with. And once after he picked the car, I was like, I was like, I was like, remember that? Put it in back in the deck. I won't look at it. I didn't look at it. I shuffled the deck behind my hands, and I even gave it to to my coworker to shuffle a little bit. He gave it back to me, and I said, his name's Tony. I'll give you two hundred dollars if I can't find your card. We shook on it, and guess what I did next? Guess guess what I did next? Guess what I did next? I burned the whole deck of cards. <laughs> but you'll never ne guess what I did next, though. You'll, you'll never guess what I did next, y'all. So with the burnt ashes, I was he was like, Tony was like, hey, dude, you can't do that. You owe me 200 bucks. And I said, nope. <laughs> De dead crowd, huh? Oh, right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a different video, definitely. I really enjoy making it. Uh, and I'm a we could do more more phobia games in the future uh, but if you did enjoy please make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and above all I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you.